In the summer of 2023, we did a great e-bike tour in the Netherlands and Belgium. Altogether, no less than 340 miles, good for 8 riding days. Start and arrival was in Amsterdam. The first day brings us from Leiden to Burghamstede. Then we continue our way to Katzand. Now we drive into Belgium, via Bruges to Ghent and via Antwerp it goes back to the Netherlands. We visit Dordrecht before ending up in Amsterdam again. Twelve enthusiast New Zealand guests are ready for it. Together with Ursula, I am the tour guide for Edelweiss Bike Travel. Mandy from Tours Direct is our friendly New Zealand colleague. The weather is on our side and we first cycle to Delft via The Hague. There we visit Royal Delft, the famous museum where Delft Blue is still made by hand. We admire all the beautiful artwork. We have a walk through the warehouse, the production area and we experience how they paint a wonderful vase. We're now in the southwest of Holland, in Zeeland, where we visit the Delta Works, constructed between 1954 and 1997. The work consists of dams, sluices, locks, dikes, levees and storm surge barriers. An impressive film shows us the importance of this huge construction. In the evening, there is time for a nice evening stroll at the beach of Katzand and we enjoy the sunset. The next stage takes us to Bruges. We have now arrived in Belgium the land of delicious waffles, world famous beers and chocolate. In Bruges there is plenty of time to admire the so-called Venice of the North with its patrician houses, the Belfry, the canals called the Rijen, the Beguinage and there is so much more to explore. You really need at least a day to discover this World Heritage Site. On summer days, the tiny little city is very crowded and touristy. We now cycle to Ghent in a few hours via the Bruges Damme Canal. We take some time for a boom, Flanders Fields, and even a part of the group will visit the Tine Cot Cemetery. This is the largest cemetery in the world for Commonwealth Force soldiers fallen during the First World War. Over 1100 New Zealand soldiers are also commemorated here. The nice part about cycling in Belgium and Holland is that the cycle paths are really well laid out. Usually they are completely separated from the motorways. It is not far now until we reach Ghent, a bigger student city but mainly known for its historic centre. A local guide takes us past the most famous places like the Belfry, the Gravenstein, 
the St. Nicholas Church, the St. Paavs Cathedral with its world famous Kent Altar by the Van Eyck brothers, the Town Hall, the Peguinage, the Graffiti Street, here is a lot to do and see and taste. There are plenty of fancy bars and good restaurants. Our journey now goes back to the Netherlands via Antwerp. We drive straight through the Kalmthoutse Heide, a beautiful nature reserve. The Zoom Kalmthoutse Heide is a cross-border park on the Belgian-Dutch border. It is a merger of two former parks, the Kalmthoutse Heide in Belgium and the Zoom in the Netherlands, together extending over 37.5 square kilometers. A very large part of the park is covered with heat. It's great to cycle here on those gravel roads. And back in the Netherlands we follow the Hollands Deep before arriving in Dordrecht. It is already our last day, with two beautiful highlights however, a visit to Gouda and the windmills of Kinderdijk. To drain the polder, a system of 19 windmills was built around 1740. This group of mills is the largest concentration of old windmills in the Netherlands. They have been UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1997. We now take our last ferry and unfortunately our tour through the bicycle paradise is over again. I definitely made some new friends again. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it again. See you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.